Disney States. Welcome to the very first part in our new series that we were doing every Sunday using the simple everyday cards. This is a Cricut cartridge available through the Cricut Design Space program with the Cricut Access Plan. And we are making two cards per video and doing two videos every Sunday. These are the first two cards. We have both birthday. This is the birthday girl one and a little boy one. This one, I just put the pink paper behind that, added a few little rhinestones, and I also used Wink of Sella to give this pink background a little bit of glitter. Then there's the inside there. This one here, the little boy one, I wanted the dinosaur to have a little bit of texture film, so I used a little bit of sponging. And then there's the inside there. All right, let's go to the computer and we will get started. Alrighty, at the computer, you want to go to cricut.com slash design. You will see this screen, upper left-hand corner where it says account. Click on that to sign in. Enter in your email and your password. When you see your name in that green box, that verifies that you were logged in. You want to come down here and click on where it says create new project. Left hand side toolbar, click on insert images. We're going to change this from all images to cartridges. In the search box, type in the word simple and click on enter. The one we want is Simple Everyday Cards. Go to click on View All Images. I'm going to go to the right hand side below the funnel and click on the four squares to make the images larger. And the cards we want is this one right here, the little dinosaur card. Click on that one. And then we want this little birthday girl card here. I'm going to click on that one. Bottom right, click on Insert Images. And you will see these two cards are identical with the envelope. What I'm going to do is bring them together and kind of overlap them the best I can here. Take my mouse across both pieces and right click and choose group. So we grouped both cards and both envelopes together. Left hand side toolbar, click on set canvas. Under canvas, click where it says cards. And there's our canvas piece here. If you go to the right hand side toolbar and click where it says canvas, you can see the size of this card is 5.5 by 4.25. This is basically an 8.5 eight by 5.5 piece of cardstock scored at 4 and a quarter. I'm going to bring these two pieces up. I'm actually going to go back to my canvas color or my canvas screen and change the color so you guys can see it better. I want this part of the card to line up with this part of the canvas. So I'm going to bring this up to the upper left hand corner. Use my arrow keys and bring this down. So I want that whole card to fill up that entire canvas piece. Now to save time, I do know the size of these. So I have it selected. I'm going to go to my right hand side toolbar under edit. I'm going to leave the lock locked and change just the width and make this be 18.51 and then click on enter. Now they're both perfectly sized for that canvas piece. I'm going to go ahead and right click and choose ungroup. That's going to separate both cards. I'm going to click on this one, right click on that one and choose ungroup. That will separate that whole card piece. So we have the card front, the piece that goes behind that. Do the same for the card below that one. Right click and choose ungroup. Now we have this piece and this piece. Now this gray piece is going to go behind the dinosaur card there. I do want to change my colors a little bit. I'm going to go to my layers tab on the right, click on my dinosaur card here, and I can see where it is over here. It'll be highlighted. I'm going to click on that color and make this piece be a white color, uh, white color there. The piece behind that I want to be green. So I'm going to click on that one and make it be a green color. Now the white will be, you can see the dinosaur behind there. This one here, I like the color yellow, so I'll leave that be yellow, but I want this piece to be pink. So I'm going to click on this piece, go back to my layer tab, change that color, make it be a pink color. So that's going to go behind that birthday girl card there. But I do want two of these because this one here will go behind this piece, but I want to insert as well. So I'm going to right click on this and choose copy. Right click again and choose paste. So I'll have two green pieces. Do the same for my pink piece here, the pink liner. Right click and choose copy, right click again and choose paste. All right, top toolbar, gonna to click on go. So we have the two green pieces, that's for the dinosaur card. The two envelopes here, they are identical. I'll just make one for the girl and one for the boy. The two pink pieces, they're for the girl card. Then we have the girl base and the boy base. Bottom right, click on go. I'm gonna cut these out, we'll, we'll go to the table and put our cards together. All right, here we are with the first card. This is the birthday one, the birthday girl. We're going to go ahead and finger press on that score mark. I'm going to give it a good press and then flip it over and take our bone border to it just to give the edge 
nice and crisp. I do the same with the envelope. I'm going to finger press that. Okay, and again, take a bone for the that edge and all the screw marks. Now we're going to go ahead and glue it down. I'm using Art Glitter Glue from Made Me Made It. I'm going to take the larger flap first. Put some glue on that. Bring this piece over. And then on the bottom piece, I don't really think it matters which is the bottom of your envelope or the top. I'll take a little bit of glue right here as well. Right now we have our envelope done. I'm going to go back and just, again, crease that from the bone folder. All right, so our envelope is done. We can go ahead and set that aside. All right now we have the card itself. We already folded that up. We're going to take that pink insert. I'm actually going to bring in a piece of scrap paper. Because this is really intricate, I'm actually going to be using a different glue. I'm using this Scotch glue. It has a glue at two ends, and this one end has a dauber. I think that works a lot easier for this part. So I'm going to take that and just kind of dab all over these pieces. And also rub. All right, so I have that. Now I'm actually going to go in with my art glitter glue, take that pink piece here and put glue around the outer edge of this one. Take this out of my way and bring this on top. So the glue we just used will help hold all those pieces down. Like that, it's much easier that way. I do a tap it too much glue there. Just gonna take your a rag or your sweatshirt. And wipe away all the extra glue I got right there. All right, so that part is done. Now because I'm working on a piece of colored cardstock, I do want to create an insert for the inside. That's why we cut two of these out. And take one of these. If you want to, you can just use a piece of white cardstock in here as well. And then this piece, the white piece, I just cut that on my trimmer. This is three and three quarter by five. So I'm going to glue that in there. And that's going to go just like that. Okay, so that fast, that card is done. I'm going to take the top of it, and just give it a nice crisp crease that we're going for so it lays flat. All right, so there you have that one. Super simple. Now, like I said, I did go with my Wake of Stella pen. I get this from Mamie Made It. And I just basically colored where all the pink is. Then I took some jewels, the little rhinestones. You can use pearls or candy dots. Use these up here to kind of dot the eyes. Okay, to keep the video a little bit shorter, I'm not going to go ahead and do all the pink in there, but you can hopefully see on this one, the pink shine on that one. All right, so card number one is done. Let's move on to card number two. All right, at card number two, we have the pieces here. Again, we're going to first finger press on that square mark. To get started, then flip it over, take your bone forward to it so it lays flat. I'm going to glue these two pieces together, the white, which is three and three quarter by five, to that green piece for the inner liner. That way that's done and out of our way. All right, we can take that. I'm going to glue that on the inside of our card real quick. in there. Alright, so that part of our card is done. Now we want to work on this piece here. Now if you look at my card, hopefully you can see it's kind of splotchy. So what I'm going to do is take this green piece and when you cut the dinosaur out, save the head piece. So that's this piece here. I'm going to bring in a piece of scrap paper and we're going to do a little bit of inking. I'm using two colors. I'm using, these are both Stampin' Up! Tip Top Taupe is one color, and then we have Mossy Meadow, any kind of green or brown ink you have. 
And then this um, stamp, I'm actually using a piece of photo paper or printer paper. Just kind of crumble it up. Okay. I want to take this and we're going to use this as an ink pad. Okay, I'm just going to dip it in that green first and then just kind of blotch it on this piece here. Just so it gives this background piece a little bit of texture to it. I'm going to do this little dinosaur head while we're here as well. Okay, I'm going to get rid of that one. Take another piece of paper. Do the same thing. Okay, now we're going to go into the brown. Ink, which this is a really, really light brown. If I had a darker brown, I'd probably use that. I want to kind of use this to kind of muddy it up a little bit so it's not so green. Just kind of calming it down some. Now, if you have um, sponges to dip with in your ink pen, you can do that as well. I didn't have sponges, so I kind of thought use what I have and I had paper and I thought that'll just give me the same effect. Some brown on that part here as well. All right, done with that one. Let's close up our ink pads. Get rid of this piece, keep our head there. All right, now we're gonna take this and glue this to this one. Now, since this one's not as intricate as the first card we did, which is this one here, I'm just gonna use my art glitter glue. And I'm gonna go around and you wanna make sure your dot the glue all around these inner parts here. That will all stay down when you put the card together. So we're just kind of going around all these pieces. Do a little bit on the letters as well. And if you don't have this glue or a fine tip glue pen, you can always put a little bit of glue on a sponge and then just kind of dab it that way. It'll kind of do the same thing. All right. I think we're good there. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue in this section here as well. I know the green's going to cover that up. Take our green. Isn't that cute? A little background. I'm going to put this on there all the way around the edge. Like that. Take this, flip it over, and plop it on the inside. So now, when you look at it from the outer side, you'll see those speckles that we just created. Thank you. All right, again, I'm going to take my bone folder because now we have a bunch of layers of cardstock. A little hint, if you guys are going to be using all white for your cardstock base, for your cardstock base piece here, go ahead and pick up a really cheap white cardstock because we're going to be putting multiple layers of cardstock on the inside. That'll actually give, make the card feel like a more quality card. All right, now we have the envelope. It was the same thing. I put it, already put it together, the same assembly as this one, but I did go ahead and take that same ink and I inked the kind of bottom and right and I glued the dinosaur head on top of that one. That's how I created that. So there you have it, guys. The very first video in this series, we have a boy birthday card and a little girl birthday card. Any questions at all, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.